book of Matthew chapter 14 from verse 28 says something. Matthew 14, 28. Let me start from 27. He said, but straightway Jesus spake unto them, be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Verse 28. And Peter answered, Now that I know that it is you, Lord. Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, if you are the one revealing yourself, bid me come unto thee on the water. A specialist in impossibilities. And Peter knew. He was not the only one there. There were other disciples. But Peter said, now that I have known that it is you, Lord, tell me to walk on water. Jesus told him, come. And Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind for his torus, he was afraid. And beginning to sing, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did you doubt? Wherefore, after one week of the prophecy, why did you doubt? After one year of the prophecy, why did you doubt? Did you not see that it was written that Abraham did not waver? That for 25 years a man believed a promise. The height of the prophetic is not God telling you about your life. Oh, I bless God for yesterday. For those of you that received direction on the matters to do concerning life, go and engage it. Ah. When the prophetic comes to play, it is the spirit of God. It is the spirit of faith. That's how God operates. We saw yesterday by his word. Jesus didn't need to construct a bridge. He needed to speak a word. Come. And that Jesus spoke a word did not shut down the wind. Because many of us receive a prophetic word and we go home and think the wind will be silent because of a prophetic word. It doesn't go silent. You are the one that shuts out of it. The Bible says when he took note, he gave attention to the wind, not to the word. When his attention was on the word, the Bible made it clear he was walking on water. But there's something I want to draw our hearts into before the teacher will come and the prophet will come up. I said that the height of the prophetic from my study is creative words. Where God, directly or through a vessel, looks upon you 
and speaks into your life what doesn't exist and says the things that are not as though they were because he's creating it. He saw darkness, but he spoke a reality, light. If the darkness on earth could receive light from Jehovah, you have more faith to be able to receive a creative word. That's my burden tonight. That they won't just come to you and say your name is this, you wear this, you ate this, this is where you come from. But that a creative word will be released such that something in your life that does not even exist becomes existent because a word was spoken. Sincerely till date, I'm trying to understand what the word come did. Whether it transformed the feet of Peter to operate like a boat on water or it transformed the liquidity of the water for the feet to stand. But whatever happened, the word created a platform for the feet of a man to operate on water. While the teaching goes on and the prophecies come, cry to God for a creative word. Some of you, the creative word that will come will be a burden. A hunger and a yearning for God that can sustain you the next 10, 20 years. Please, prophecies are not for excitement. Teachings are not to increase your intellectual capacity. No, no. When he spoke, he spoke spirit and his life. And when he prophesied, he said the things he has ordained he gave direction for life and he created things that were not there so that a man can operate within a sphere. Though the wind is there, his life is sustained beyond it. And in case you have a prophetic word and you had begun to sink, I pray tonight that as God immediately brought Peter back on the water to still walk on it, tonight may a word come that will restore you back onto the place of the word that was spoken. I want to encourage someone before you leave this place. The prophetic is not to expose your life to feel bad. Whatsoever God reveals, it is because he has a plan to redeem it. I found that it is when God shuts up about a person that the person's case is gone. As long as he's still speaking, there is still hope. My life, a living sacrifice just to live for you, Adonai. I present my life, a living sacrifice just to live for you Adonai. God might be saying much more to draw you to himself than to impress you I present my life a living sacrifice just to leave 